friends, and welcome back to another episode of Moment of Music with Miss Sloan. We are getting close to the end of the school year, so we are in the final countdown of our videos together. So far, most Mondays, we have spent together making instruments at home. Today is not exactly an instrument, but we are going to make some household items, these glasses, sing. Miss Sloan, how does this work? Every material in the world has something called a resonant frequency. This means that if you apply energy to that material at this specific frequency, it will vibrate. And we know from some previous episodes that that's also how we make sound. Vibrations. Without a vibration, we have no sound. So it makes sense that if something vibrates at its resonant frequency, it may also make sound. So to do this with glasses, we're going to be using friction and pressure from our finger to swirl around the top of the glass to try to make it sing, to try to hit its resonant frequency. I've already tried all these glasses, so I have an idea of which one's going to work best, but I'm going to show you as well. So please ask your parents before you do this because I would hate for someone to break a glass and get hurt. Now, you need some kind of lubrication on your finger to keep it from sticking to the glass. I'm going to use some water. I've also seen some videos where people use dish soap, so maybe that would work. The first thing we're going to try is a mason jar. Let's move these other ones out of the way. So a mason jar is very thick glass. They can withstand a lot of pressure because that's how you can things and preserve them. So I'm going to dip my finger in some water and I'm going to start gently swirling my finger around the mouth of this mason jar. I'm going to try to push it a little harder. I'm not sure anything's going to happen. This is because mason jars are very thick glass and to get to its resonant frequency would require more speed and pressure than I have. Let's try the tumbler next. This glass is a little bit thinner, but it has a very thick bottom. So we'll see. Maybe it's saying just a little, but again, this is really thick glass. Let's try one that's thinner. This one's thinner. This is just like a regular dinner glass. Oh, I can hear a little more with this one. You might not can hear it on the video. I still can't. It wants to. It's so close. <laughs> Probably still too thick. This is a little skinny flute, but again, it's pretty thick glass. But maybe this stem will help. Oh, it's, it's really starting to. If I could get my finger not to squeak while I did it, it would sound great. Do you hear that vibration in the table? That's because I'm hitting its resonant frequency. The cup or glass is vibrating. It, it, if I can match pitch with it, that means it's singing. stemless glass, but this one's thinner, so we'll see how it goes. If I can get my finger not to squeak, this one's singing too. So close. So that one kind of works too. We'll put it in the kind of pile. And last, 
I have a really thin, wide glass with a stem. It already kind of sings just when you tap on it. I think we found our winner. If I add a little bit of water to the glass, it will change the pitch. It will change the way it sounds because it changes the amount of space that is available for the vibrations and the material or the state of matter, hard and liquid, that the vibrations have to travel through. It's pretty cool. God, this one going so good. Isn't that incredible? See what happens now. It's a lot lower. You can see the water vibrating. I hope you try something cool and musical and scientific today. Remember friends, that I miss you, that I think about you all the time, more than you could even imagine. And I can't wait to spend time with you in the music classroom again soon. Happy Monday.